this is going to be a pretty darn fresh chalk talk. Because frankly, I just shot him a week and two days ago as of filming this. And this is the buck we're going to be talking about right here. How, why was I able to go in and take this animal in? I'm going to call it two sits, but it was really one. Okay. Let's look at the picture here. The burnt red line coming in from the top, that's where I drive. From there, I go ahead, I park, and I walk up through the woods. Next, frankly, this is the perfect chalk talk for this episode because so much of this has to do with food. If you'll notice, we've got trophy clover in the one in the more the northwest and we have Booner Buffet in the one that's right above the stand that I end up shooting them from. You know what? When the corn doesn't come in real good along the edge, any food plot doesn't come in real good along the edge. Well, you know what you do? You get in there and you tear up that edge and you plant fall, winter, spring slash cereal rye. So in this one look in this area right here, they can go ahead and get the farmer's soybeans that are out in the field. They can get the corn that we've planted that we'll be harvesting in February. You can get trophy clover. You can get Booner Buffet, which is an alfalfa-based product with some clover in it. And you can go ahead and get fall, winter, spring, slash cereal rye, corn, and soybeans all right there. And look at the pictures I was getting. I got picture after picture after that trap that I've got right right by the trophy clover. The traps, they're cams. They're Reconix uh, trail cameras. No wonder that Mr. Big is living in this area. All you gotta do is wait for the right wind. He comes trotting in from the north right underneath that scrape. Hate to admit it, I rushed the shot a little bit. Um, ended up kicking him up when we were, when we were tracking him. Backed out, came back by myself the next day, and that bedding spot that is pretty much straight north of the stand, that's where he was. And that's another little trick. When you kick up a deer when you're trailing them, now, up until that point, they don't know what happened. But once you kick them up, they may not know you're the one that did this to them, but they know you're after them. And where do they head when you know that they're after them? to the spots they feel safest in this entire world. When you're talking a mature buck, that's his bedding area. It's almost always his bedding area. So when all else fails, you can't find blood. If you can go out and get a tracking dog, do it. Um, but if you can't, you can't find blood, do a grid search of the area. Once, the, once you've exhausted the grid search, he'd been laying in his bed for I don't know how long. And then he died. They head home. When they know that they're being chased, they go to where they feel the safest. 